بسم الله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين وبعد السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Mr. Speaker, Honorable Members of the Parliament, I humbly present to you a resolution urging all government and private offices within the Bangsamoro Autonomous Region and Muslim Mindanao to foster non-discrimination in employment on account of religion including the hiring of qualified applicants who are pious observers of the Islamic faith. This resolution seeks to promote and protect the rights of every Bangsamoro men and women from discrimination in employment on account of religion. This further aims to provide assurance that Bangsamoro Autonomous Region in Muslim Mindanao is an anti-discrimination government and does not tolerate workplace practices that are against its residents' faith and belief. It is part of the belief of Muslims for women to cover themselves modestly, as stated in the Quran, and tell the believing women to lower their gaze and protect their private parts and not to show off their adornment except only that which is apparent and to draw their veils all over, end quote. For those who choose to abide by this belief, their choice should be protected. Also, where the Magna Carta of women, particularly section 28, states that the state shall recognize and respect the rights of Moro and indigenous women to practice, promote, protect, and preserve their own culture, traditions, and institutions, and to consider these rights in the formulation and implementation of national policies and programs, end quote. That provision itself implies that wearing of hijab in any place such as workplace is not allowed to be banned, nor not to accept qualified applicants just because they cover themselves with the veil. In 2017, a Muslim woman was fired in just a week after being accepted in her job training. It was after she was asked by superiors to remove her veil for work and retorted, she won't. Moreover, amidst the widespread campaign on protecting Muslim women who wear their veil, the sunnah of keeping the beard for men as a practice of faith deserves to get attention. Several complaints have been filed that Muslim men are forced to shave their beard in order to get in the job they applied to. Some companies impose workplace appearance policies that includes clean shaven faces for men, preventing them to keep their beards, which leaves these men to choose between what he believes for and what he does to live. Some of the Muslim followers from among the men choose to grow their beards in obedience to Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam who said, cut the mustaches short and leave the beard at his head. End quote. This choice too should also be protected. Obeying the Quran and the Sunnah should not be a barrier for someone to pursue someone's dream job or workplace, especially in the Bangsamoro region. Choosing between work and faith should be less of a burden for everyone especially in Barm, where the Muslims and indigenous people's safe haven should be. This resolution doesn't only aim to protect the beliefs, traditions, and culture of our pious observers in Islamic faith, but also to show the whole country that coexistence between diverse religious beliefs in a workplace is possible 
and that qualifications for the job does not include physical appearance nor beliefs. In lieu of the foregoing, the immediate passage of the solution is earnestly requested. <laughs> 